It was the ladies' turn to hold the stage at their final luncheon of the Variety Club's International Convention held at the Dorchester. Lady Isabel Barnett met Katie Boyle, and among male guests was the Duke of Bedford with the Duchess. Enjoying the company of Barbara Kelly and Honor Blackman, Harry Seacombe. Virginia McKenna and Bill Travers, without Elsa. Princess Soroya, ex-wife of the Shah of Persia, brought Eastern glamour to the occasion. Dame Edith Evans, first lady of the stage. With Lady Barnett, variety elder statesman, Monty Burke. Over now to the Festival Hall, where the convention met to honour the Duke of Edinburgh, who recently toured America and Canada on the Variety Club's behalf. The founder of Variety's first tent in Europe, C.J. Latter, announced the business of the gathering. Your Royal Highness, you have been selected as the recipient of the Variety Club's International Humanitarian Award for 1965. I am honored to have been chosen to present to you this award for your work on behalf of young people. C.J., Chief Barkers, and ladies and gentlemen. Now, while this award is, of course, a very great personal pleasure and an inspiration, I want you all to know that every organization concerned with young people with which I am connected will also derive immense encouragement from your recognition of their work. I think we take it too much for granted that people give their service to the community. It's so much easier to sit back and ignore the things which need to be done, or to criticize the people who are trying to do something. It's so much better to try, and perhaps to make a mistake, than not to try at all for fear of doing something wrong. Will Variety Clubs International please go on with your good work and go on setting such a wonderful example? Thank you all very much.